Hi, I'm Jeffrey Perham. Thank you for joining in at the Tested uh, Podcast, Global Tested Podcast. Uh, and I have a special guest today, Ricky J. And Ricky J, would you like to uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, thank you, Jeffrey, and thanks uh, for inviting me for the podcast today and giving me uh, a chance to shed a little bit of light on uh, the topic of the tested. Through, we should say maybe faith. I'm a, a local, but uh, might say started out in Missouri, moved to Tucson, spent uh, quite a few years there in the 40 plus uh, bracket and uh, started out uh, in radio broadcasting and, and uh, some TV and doing movies, doing commercials, what have you, to finally end up in a position now to uh, be able to present uh, different artists, uh, shall we say, uh, or different formats uh, and foundations uh, on many levels in life. I guess you could say just mainly from life experiences. And that's what I'm excited about today to share somewhat of my uh, faith-based uh, beliefs and, uh, and, and how I, um, should we say, walk a daily walk in, in life. Yes, that's, um, that's awesome. And we thankful and we're really happy to have you here. Uh, you spread a lot of the great wisdom that you have um, out to the audience and they could take it in, into their daily lives also and uh, uh, come so, yeah. forward and uh, deal with their different tests. Um, a little bit about the podcast, Global Tested Podcast is um, it's about being tested, um, going through life and life, how certain structures uh, created testing people's lives that they want to share and, um, and get out to the public to, to, to see how how uh, certain institutions and things like that have uh, caused problems and havoc in their lives that they had had to overcome. So I'm gonna come with, to you with my first question. My first question is, um, how have you been tested? Um, and you could share a story. Do you have a short story of being tested? Well, I tell you what, I, I have to say, I really believe that we are tested every day. Okay. Now, some of us uh, in our, our faith, we believe that there will be an ultimate test uh, to enter what they call the kingdom uh, and uh, the creator, what have you. But I really believe that it's an everyday walk. It's an everyday test. Uh, I don't, um, well, you just like you prepare for a race and you have to sit at some time that, that finish line. Well, if you don't run the race, in the proper fashion, and you don't prepare for it physically or mentally, what have you, or both, then basically you're not ready for the, the ultimate test. So I really believe that I walk, I have to walk in a tested manner every day. Because it's lined out in scripture, for example, what the, the rules are of the race. <laughs> And uh, although, like you said earlier, we're tested every day from um, different angles in life, from that car dealership that are, you, are, are now the COVID that has taken place that is forcing many of us to really re, uh, reestablish and uh, look at our lives in a different way, yes. financially, physically, and spiritually. And mentally also. Um, and I to elaborate with you on the COVID-19, it was really a shocker, a world shocker. It, it literally altered the world, altered the world. And we yes. still really haven't recovered globally. Uh, I mean, for us, and then, like you say, the industry, so the, the pharmacies are making and generating income and different things, more income, and people are passing. So a lot of people might be getting effects from different shots of things they have to take um, to try to cure this sickness. So it's, it's been a big test. So it benefits some and others that didn't benefit so well. So yeah, there's so many tests out here and so many different traps that, to fall into. I, I agree with yes. you. You have to be prepared. So I was wondering what, what are some of the ways have you uh, pre prepared yourself to, to be ready? Did you pre-prepare -pre yourself to be ready? 
way before the test because you knew they was going to eventually come into uh into your life or there is it just a daily thing like a diet that, that well it's a daily thing but i think my first really uh attending uh uh, not talking religious, but knowing of the faith uh, that seemed like our spiritual being is within us. And we always, no matter what country or what type of person you are, so people generally look to a higher power or being in times of trouble. Okay. Now, I worked the uh, areas of the Far East uh, and the Army Security Agency, and I really felt that if I did not have a little bit of trust and faith and hope, I wouldn't have survived the missions that I had to carry out. So that was my eye opener. Before then, I just skated along until 21 years old and believed, but I had no clue of the overall depth. Well, after that lesson and knowing that it um, seemed like there was someone else in charge, uh, I, I didn't have all the questions. And so I started digging uh, deep into the original writings all the way back to the first 10 Zephyrs. That would be in the Hebrew language or Aramaic language. That's the first 10 books okay. uh, or the uh, you know, the first 10 books of what they call the first part or the Old Testament as some calls it. Now, a lot of things have changed, I found out. As I needed answers, I didn't have all the knowledge or all the answers of what was really going on because every time you turn north, south, east, west, you have a different religion trying to accomplish whatever, uh, you know. But I, through that, uh, I found out that uh, there was dedicated rulers clear back to the days of Constantine uh, um, in the seven hills, what they call the seven hills, okay. um, talked about in the uh, book of Revelation, which is accredited for the beginning of Christianity. What I found, I wanted to go before that, before they was captured and, and uh, taken off to out of the Israel and taken off to the uh, rulers, uh, if you remember. Along the way, certain books or certain, shall we say, testaments were written to actually fit what they ruled at that time, like Constantine or King James. They wanted certain books written that would fit their people. Okay. Well, when you start trying to fit the people that you rule, you're going to have to make changes. So you go back and all of a sudden you find out that the Sabbath the seventh, the sixth day of the week, the day of the rest, is not on a Sunday. Okay. That the, the Sunday was named after a god, the sun god. You find out that then they started referring to the actual creator in the name of Yahweh. You, we found that um, they was starting to change that name. He actually makes a statement in the early in the early books that. Uh, they will forget my name. And then he says, I'm not a God. I'm your father. I'm your creator. But if you want to call me a God, call me a God. So anyway, that was, and then you start studying more and more. And you find out things were changed. There's one faction that actually reestablished and reorganized and did away or with, with the Ten Commandments, which is rule, you know, rules for lives supposedly. Well, one of those was kind of kicked out, taken actually and substituted with their own. So you'll see that meanings of Hebrew and Aramaic, Aramaic words were changed to fit that lingo or language of that, that those people. So what I, that's how I basically have prepared uh, trying to be knowledgeable enough to have all the answers uh, to my feelings and needing to know the truth about how so many religions, factions have came about, how the changes were, was made, and really, again, the name Babylon, if you will look it up in the New Testament, Babylon, she rides on a horse from the 
gates of the Babylon, the city of seven hills. Well, that's Babylon it is defined as confusion. Okay. So confusion, you talk about the satanic or satan uh, powers that have been into play in our our world for, from beginning when Satan was sent down from the heavens, <laughs> should we say. Um, so now we are living in a life of confusion, uh, totally different than what was originally described in the first part, Old Testament, and then the new part. So I was wondering, um, and never asked a question uh, for me. So, um, so would you say that everything is like a more of a deception that stirred us away from what righteousness is? Could that also be the creation of where like uh, the evil of these different institutions to take advantage of people and to manipulate and to, to, to bring money and it's like to be looked at it as a guide that people are doing everything that they can for it. But all of that comes from like a disconnect from the actual righteous uh, feeling. Like say, uh, the Sabbath is on Saturday, which is the, the actual Sabbath, instead yes. of on um, instead of on Sunday. So, like it's been a deception in somewhere. Yes, it, it is total deception from the beginning of the Pistonic ways. The name of the Savior has been changed to using um, Roman gods. Uh, and uh, those other factions in the area of other beliefs uh, to Jesus or Zeus the Zeus is what the warrior God, the God, the warrior God, then there's others if you research it, so the name was, is not really Jesus it's uh, actually Yahshua Hamasia, yes. Yahshua the Savior so it's a total deception changing the workings of Satan within each ruler, within each faction. What, and this name, the Easter. Easter comes from the spring goddess of fertility named Estar. Okay. So there's no Easter. Then we have the birth of the Savior. The birth of the Savior, if you study the lambs, the lambs who have, give birth, or the sheep who give birth, their cycle does not permit lambs to be born in the winter time in Israel in the in the Holy Land. Okay. There, it's, the cycle works out. Another, you know, the creator created the lambs. He said the cycle, he said, I won't have you be, be, be bearing lambs in the winter months. So that's the spring. So we do know we can kind of relate to that. Our Savior was in a manger in the springtime, not at winter, called Christ. You ever heard the word uh, cross a Christmas? Yes. Or a Christmas? It comes from another word. Um, uh, I can't think. I can't. It's Holy Christmas, or I can't. I can't recall it. For example, um, actually, where that comes from. So again, deception, 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 even to this day. I have to share with you. I used to raise Great Danes. And about this time, it really kind of triggered me into start digging. I had this gentleman bought one of my Great Danes, and he saw him moving. Well, he owed me money for the Great Dane. I said, "You, uh, I heard you moving. He said, yeah, I'll get you paid. He said, I said, where are you going? It says, my brother is starting a religion, a church, down in one of the southern states. He's about to make a lot of money. I want to be there to help him out. Wow. So that's about saving the so soul. That, that is true <laughs> from my lips. Well, so it wasn't about saving the soul of the spirit, it was about making the money. Yes, and that's a lot of the factions are making money. Wow. By yeah. preaching, uh, preaching, uh, should we say, not, really not the truth about the matter. Uh, so I don't want to get too deep into that because each person has to find a way. If they're happy, with what they go and get a tidbit of the correct information, should we say, and feeling closer to the creator, at some point, maybe they will be tested. And the, maybe the creator will say, you know, I cannot hold you responsible for your ignorance. Yes. And not seeking further. You know. I have a question. Uh, 
So what's the solution and advice would you like to share? I know you were giving advice, but you would share um, to people to not be caught up in, in this situation. How would well, you? Uh, I believe the, what steps did they in the tested movie, Mr. Glenn um, is, um, I mean, it's putting the movie together basically to change the world view. And the only way I see that global solution in my opinion, is to try to get everyone's attention first, like I'm doing today, about the truth, and encourage them to go back and study first how things came about with the change of the day of the rest, where Easter came from, was the Savior born in the water, uh, what was going on in the, in the Holy Land at the time. Uh, there's um, uh, And the, the things, if you go to what they call the, the Council of Nicaea. You can Google that and okay. you'll see what was changed by Constantine to make his people all one belief. He wanted one belief, so he changed it. Same thing happened with the King James okay. version of what they call the Bible, uh, not the, the book or the word as it's described in Hebrew. So, there's so much more to learn. And to prepare yourself, one must seek the truth. So, so how can uh, one prepare for a test, as I said earlier, without studying the truth? The global solution begins with getting the truth out to every human being who wishes to be tested, continue their daily walk as a test, and receive the reward promised by the Creator and the Savior. Tested. The movie will be a change for the world if people will take note and do research, find the truth. Yes, I agree. That is um, awesome. And you have it right here on Global Tested Podcast uh, with Ricky J. Um, that was an awesome answer. Um, here at Tested, we, uh, we're giving the individual opportunity to share um, the story about being tested by powers that be. Um, clearly, you know, Ricky J, he's um, educating us about religion and actually finding the truth about it um, to, to reach out and use your resources. And, and before you um, actually decide to just kind of follow that direction, do more research and learn and uh, get an understanding and, 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 and learn the history of, of, of religion. And, uh, so that you can grow, which also would be a foundation to change some of the roots to, to the problems that's going on. If everybody have a great spiritual foundation and, and, and they will make the right decision and they'll understand peace and unity together. And then we will take care of each other's good stewards. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, if you wanna uh, join the tested movement and to support the growth of the tested movement to bring world peace, and to help us grow as uh, human beings, as people, and learn to share this earth together and to not necessarily defend, but through compassion to get these evil sources that's in B that, that, that have been bringing in these tests and turmoil within uh, our lives as, as people here. Um, you know, contact us at testedmovie.com. And reach out, and you can do your interview live right here, and we will schedule you a time. And uh, hopefully, we can make a change, a peaceful change that that will benefit all the people globally, and uh, to get things going in the right direction. And we can also praise and and bring forth happiness and love here on the earth. And I think God will be proud of us by truly finding and following His ways. And so, yes. Um, that concludes our interview for today. And we sure thank you, Ricky J, for coming on board and, and giving us insight on uh, to see things in a different light uh, so we can continue to grow and, 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 and bring unity and happiness, you know, here on Earth amongst everything and all living creatures to be this to us to Earth. So thank you and hope to have you again soon. And um, enjoy the rest of your day. And, uh, and um and thank you. Uh, I can only say praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Yes. All righty. Well, thank you for the moments. And
I guess they will talk later.